alone is still in the dark. And I'm going to tell you this. If you want to be great, if you want to be successful, if you want to get rid of that physique that you had in 2018, you're going to have to push beyond your comfort zone. You're going to have to stop being limited by that altered ego that's actually essentially created a fucking mental police within your mind. You see, just like you see these traffic signs out here. And so the traffic says 55, 60. And so um, if you're on an interstate, it might be 70, right? If you're down south, it might be 70, 75. But your mind, just like those traffic signs create limits. You've created a mental police within your mind that's actually told you that you cannot go beyond the 50%, the 55%, the 60%, the 70%. Only a selected few would freaking go 80 or 85. But then that mental police starts to sound off in your mind. Woo, 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 because you're in fear that if you break the monotony of what you've actually been taught is actually limitations, then you're going to get in trouble. So most people do not go beyond that 60 or 70%. They don't drive 100 because they fear in driving 100, they're going to get in trouble. And so this mental police creates limitation on you, which renders you to be average. Only 3%. 97% of the other population will only go 65, 70%. A selected few will go 80. But only 3% will go that 100. 100%. 100 miles an hour because they are driven to be successful. And those are the people that you see successful in life. Those are the Steve Jobs. Those are the Bill Gates. You understand? Those are the Denzel Washingtons. Those are the people that push beyond. Those are the David Goggins. So I'm telling you, this mental police that you created in your mind creates fear. But fear is an intangible. And you created the fear. You can destroy it. And you look down on yourself, right? See, see my body, it's chest fucking ripped up. See what I'm saying? Definition of chest, heart, real, real muscle. And they don't come overnight. So you set a New Year's resolution and say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this fat. You've been eating all through Thanksgiving. And every every year, you put on two, three, four pounds here. So you look back. You've been celebrating this shit for like 10 Thanksgiving, 10 years straight. So you made a New Year's resolution. January the 1st, you go into the gym. Yeah, I'm going to lose this weight. You get a push on the train. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. But you start looking out at yourself when you go home. And you don't look like this. You say, I'm ripped. Ties it up. Look at the definition in chef, man. It, it takes hard work. It takes dedication. You have to be driven. But you're going to look at yourself at the two weeks right now. It's January the 17th. Looking down at yourself. It tells you what's going on. I'm not getting the improvements. I'm not getting the changes that I anticipated. So you know what you do? That mental police comes into your mind and says, this is not for you. It would be better. It's cold outside. You're about to go out running like me this morning. I went out running. It's fucking cold, man. Cold, cold air hit my chest. Those negative thoughts, that mental police started coming into my mind and say, yo, man, you don't feel like doing this today. But I chased it away because it's when we don't feel like doing it that makes the difference. It makes the difference when we don't feel like it if we go and do it. That's what makes us great. That's what separates us from average. So you got to be the same way. You're not going to get the body that you want when you've been eating bad for 10 years straight, you're not gonna get that body in two weeks. You gotta push beyond that. And it's not gonna be easy, but you gotta push beyond it. And this is how greatness is accomplished and ascertained. I'm telling the doc. And this is my view of your and my reality. I'm giving it to you real. Get rid of the mental police that's creating a fear in your mind. Fear is an intangible. You create the fear, you can destroy it or it will destroy you. I'm tired of dark. And this is my view of your mind reality. Your mind creates all the limitations 
from you being great. Greatness is on the other side of that fit. It's on the other side of that doubt. It's on the other side of that mental police that you created in your mind. This is why you don't speed on the highways because you fear the police. You fear the judge. So you set limits. And you're doing the same thing with your mind and your life's accomplishments. You're setting these limits. You're being average. But I'm not average. You ever hear the story about the man that was almost great? Nah, me either. No one else either because no one talks about that motherfucker. You remember the people that came from the bottom. People want to hear the story from the people that had to strive to get it. Not someone that was actually born with a silver spoon. Do you understand? Do you understand? By the way, I want to take this time to give, you know, two fingers, peace to all my debtor haters that love to hate on me. That love to hate because you fell because you didn't have what it required to become a secured party creditor. You wasn't driven enough. So you want to blame me. You want to say that thing is a failure. It doesn't work because you are a loser. So peace. Two fingers. Two of my dead haters. I'm moving through this matrix like Neo. I'm unplugged. You talking about you got the plug? Well, I'm unplugged. Peace. Two fingers. Tell the dog. It's out. Ha 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 ha